February is National Children's Dental Health Awareness Month, but it can be tough to teach kids the best oral health practices. So to give us some tips, Dr. Poonam Jain joins us. She is with AT Still University in the St. Louis Dental Center. And who do you have with you? A special oh, guest you brought. I did. <laughs> so this is Peasy. Peasy. Peasy likes to talk to children and um, you know, teach them about oral health. I love that. Yes, we'll talk with yes. PZ in just a minute. Yes. But I want to ask them, what's the biggest problem that you hear from parents when they're trying to keep their kids' teeth healthy? Um, so really, two different problems. One, what they eat, what they drink, how often they eat and drink it, so what goes mm. in the mouth. And two, how to remove the residues of that food and drink from the mouth, how to clean their teeth. So two different challenges here. Well, you're going to yes. show us the right way to do it because there's actually a technique, right, when it comes to brushing kids' teeth. Yes, okay. and, and really, um, to keep it really simple for little kids, one of the most important things is the toothbrush must have soft bristles. And I brought you a couple of a little ones. A couple examples, yes. okay, great. Yes, soft Please bristles, see. small heads, so they can fit in easily into all different yeah, nooks and crannies, little right? Little mouths, right. Yes. So you need a little brush for the little mouth, okay. Yeah, so once you've chosen the right brush, small head, soft bristles, then the amount of time that they spend and the correct technique, okay. those two things, and those two And how much time keys. should you spend? at least two minutes. It seems like an eternity yeah. to a child. Yeah. So from the very beginning to the end of their favorite song. Okay. Okay. We For need example, to find a longer song. Uh, a two minute long <laughs> song at the very least. And so then with the brush, short back and forth strokes. So each stroke doesn't engage more than two or three teeth. Angle the brush towards the gums because you'll see little kids do this. Yeah. You know, and they're missing the gum line as you notice ah. all together. So angle the brush for the upstairs towards the gums. So angle it up for the downstairs, for the lower teeth, angle it down towards the gums. So you're cleaning the gums, not just the teeth. For the front, you know, up and down strokes. So for the backs of the front teeth, up and down. But do not forget the tongue. Okay. So brush, uh, PZ lost his tongue, he used to have a tongue. <laughs> uh, brush the tongue till it is pink, pink, pink. Can you share why it's so important to take care of that, you know, childhood set of teeth if they're gonna go ahead and lose it anyway? Yeah, uh, good question. But the childhood set of teeth are extremely important. Many different studies have shown conclusively that children who have cavities in their baby teeth, their childhood teeth, are at a far greater risk of having caries or cavities on their adult teeth. Okay, all right. So, so we gotta start it off the right way early. And, and so go to the dentist before they're one year old. Okay. Okay, and establish a dental home, which is a regular dental provider who not only does the exam, finds, you know, what's wrong, gives the parents advice about what to eat, what to drink, what to avoid, the fresh fibrous fruits to eat, how to clean their teeth, all the good advice that parents right. need. Dr. Jane, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate your time and PZ too. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you for having us. Well, still ahead.